Penny from Heaven is a children's novel written by Jennifer L. Holm, an esteemed American author and recipient of multiple Newbery medals. Initially published in 2007 by Random House's Yearling Books, the story is set in 1953 New York City and revolves around 11-year-old Barbara Penny Fellucci. Penny grapples with the challenges of growing up and the idiosyncrasies of her Italian-American family. Drawing inspiration from Holmes' own childhood, Penny from Heaven intertwines a deeply personal narrative of a young girl's coming-of-age journey with a broader cultural commentary on the experiences of Italian, Americans in America. Both Penny from Heaven and Holmes' 2000 book, Our Only May Amelia, were honored with Newbery medals. The novel commences with Penny contemplating her vision of heaven, a place where she envisions a never-ending supply of butter pecan ice cream, swimming pools, and baseball games. Penny admits to frequently thinking about heaven, not because she expects to die soon, but because her late father affectionately called her Penny, after the beloved Bing Crosby song Pennies from Heaven. Following her father's death, Penny, along with her mother Ellie and their dog Scarlett O'Hara, moves in with Ellie's parents, Mimi and Pop Pop. Penny's father, the eldest of six children and the only one born in Italy before their family's immigration to America, has relatives still residing in Penny's neighborhood. While she enjoys spending time with them, the situation can be awkward. Not only is there a rift between both sides of her family, but nobody is willing to disclose the details surrounding her father's demise. Penny occasionally sees Nani, her paternal grandmother, but each mention of her father brings Nani to tears. Additionally, there's Uncle Dominic, who lives in his 1940 Plymouth Road King. Amidst these complexities, Penny finds solace in her mischievous cousin, Frankie. Ellie, Penny's mother, exhibits an overprotective nature. She prohibits Penny from going to the pool due to her fear of polio contraction. To Penny's astonishment, her typically overprotective mother, Ellie, grants her permission to work at Uncle Ralphie's meat shop, where Penny's uncle Dominic is also employed. In secret, Penny harbors a hope that Dominic and Ellie will eventually marry. When Ellie and Penny's father first started dating, Dominic was the sole family member who supported their relationship. The rest of the Fallucci family insisted that Penny's father should marry an Italian girl. Unfortunately, Ellie dashes Penny's aspirations for a marriage with Dominic when she begins dating Mr. Mulligan, the milkman. However, Penny is determined not to let Mr. Mulligan become her new father figure. After witnessing his rude behavior at a dinner party, Penny confronts him with embarrassing questions and unfavorably compares him to her late father. One day, Penny's uncle reveals a family secret, their grandfather Fallucci buried a significant amount of money in the backyard. However, he passed away suddenly without revealing the exact location of the treasure. Excited by the prospect of finding the cash, Penny and her cousin Frankie tear apart the backyard in search of it, but to no avail. They then speculate that the money might be hidden in the basement, but they need to wait for everyone to leave the house before exploring it. Under the guise of doing laundry, Penny and Frankie venture into the basement, covertly searching for the money while pretending to pass close through the ringer to maintain the appearance of chores. To their astonishment, Frankie eventually discovers the hidden money. However, in the midst of their excitement, Penny gets her arm trapped in the ringer. The machine relentlessly engulfs her arm, causing excruciating pain until she eventually loses consciousness. Upon awakening, Penny finds herself in the hospital. In a surreal haze, she overhears a heated argument between her mother and Uncle Dominic. Ellie accuses Dominic of being responsible for Penny's father's death. Penny finds herself unable to move her right fingers, and doctors express concern that she may be permanently disabled. One night, while awake in the hospital, she overhears two nurses discussing a startling revelation about her mother, Ellie. According to their conversation, Ellie's late husband was an Italian spy, and he was killed by the American government. Confronting her mother with this information only results in tears, prompting Penny's aunt to reveal the true story. When Penny was an infant, Uncle Dominic gifted her father a new radio. Unbeknownst to Dominic, owning this particular type of radio raised suspicions of espionage if the owner wasn't a natural-born American citizen. Since Penny's father had immigrated from Italy and possessed the radio, he was arrested on suspicion of being a spy. While in jail, he wrote a poignant letter likening his daughter to a lost Penny he would never hold again. Tragically, he fell ill and died in custody. It is this heartbreaking event, rather than the Bing Crosby song, 
that led to everyone calling Penny by her current nickname. Although Penny wishes to absolve Uncle Dominic of any blame and reassure him that he is not responsible for her father's death due to the radio gift, Dominic never visits her. The only memento she has from him is a lucky bean he once gave her, serving as a reminder of her beloved uncle. When Penny's roommate expresses a desire to see the lucky bean, an accidental knock causes it to fall off the table. As Penny reaches down to retrieve it, she experiences a remarkable realization, she can move the fingers of her right hand. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.